Now, just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now, you always said, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the box screen. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buff. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready? Go. All right, so here we are, the MMA leader back in London, England. It's amazing to think back to UFC 75 when the UFC first came to the UK. Now you're talking about 25 shows in the United Kingdom, but few markets as rabid about mixed martial arts as London is. And the moment you saw guys like Michael Bisping start to fight in the UFC, he seemed as though he was alone. Now there are many, a number of English fighters with dreams of headlining this arena. Nice straight right hand. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Slice. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Push kick there to the body. Able to block the punch there. Oh, nice, nice. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Slice. Fast pace here in the early going. And that one certainly found the target. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, nice jab. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Push, push, push. Slice gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, misses with the jab. Slice gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! Oh, big right hand! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Ooh, what a punch. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it, and he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Oh, nice straight punch there by Slice. Just misses with the straight right. 
Oh, big right hand, yes. Big shot lands for both guys. Big right hook there by the champ. Under a minute to go. Fast jab lands there. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Slice's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Oh, that kick is good by Kimbo Slice. Fifteen seconds. Working off the jab, it's good. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Kimbo Slice gets tattooed by that straight punch. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Kimbo slices, blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Three minutes to go. Don't back up. Push forward. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Slice's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Muhammad Ali gets caught by the inside leg. Clipped him with the jab. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. That punch no good.
Just missed with the left there. He gets to the single college eye. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Slice is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Oh! Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ali. Oh, right in the mount. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. That was a slick transition. Muhammad Ali gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this one. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Slice's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Oh, All right, round three coming up next. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Kimbo Slice's nose is thankful that's the end of the round. Got to be broken. A lot of blood coming out of that nose area. And we'll see if they indeed call on the ringside physician to take a closer look. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Kimbo Slice's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Punch over the top. Kimbo Slice gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. And everything's landing with so much power. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Muhammad Ali gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. That's good defense to get that guard up. They continue to exchange. Three minutes to go in round three. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. 
do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's shown. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, nice jab up top by Ali. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you could tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Straight right, he misses. Oh, good work with the jab there. He's found his range, but now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. He's cut. Give me Effective strike there by Ali. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, landed that kick to the leg. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 15 seconds. Lands a nice straight. Oh. All right, three rounds oh. down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and his nose is severely cut up right now. This fight could end at any moment. Do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Just protect it. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Go ahead. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Good jab there by the champion. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Slice gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Right hand lands flush. Right hand is there over the top. Oh, 
Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, nice hook. We march on three minutes to go. Right on the button. Back and forth we go. He lands another punch to the head. A oh, hook to the head by Ali. Well, missed on that one. Ali gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Out of range with that one. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Muhammad Ali gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive these over and over. You gotta be careful here, you gotta move. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Slice's left leg would appear to be compromised at this point in time. You see he's limping, having a hard time putting weight on it, and it appeared as though it was that last kick that did the damage. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Ali. Another punch to the head. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Well, these gentlemen are absolutely going at it. Let's see who have the upper hand. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, good lead right by Ali. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Punch got blocked there. 20 seconds to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Muhammad Ali gets caught by another straight. The horn sounds for the end of round four. Well, I'm not sure his nose is broken, but that is a nasty cut on the bridge of his nose. He heads back to the stool, and we'll see if the cut man can keep him in this fight. Protect this cut, though. You know he's going after it. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, 
you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. That left punch pretty good tonight. Back and forth we go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Slice going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Back to the jab now. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Just missed with the elbow there. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Massive elbow for the punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now some separation. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. He's going to be urinating blood for a week. <laughs> this dude's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hey, for as bad as it is right now, and this fight may get stopped because of this damage, tomorrow will be much worse. This guy does not have much fun to look forward to in the next few days. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Solid punch by him there. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Slice. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. Looking to land the right just out of range. Back and forth we go here. All right, here we go with the final minute of what has been unquestionably the fight of the night. Back and forth on both sides, and referee has thought about stopping things. I'm glad he stayed out. Yeah, I'm glad that he didn't put himself in this fight. We needed to see this one to completion, or as long as we have gotten to see the fight. There have been some right bleak moments for both. Right both of these guys are covered in blood. Both of these guys have been battered and bruised, but neither one of them lost the desire to fight. It's been so fun to watch. I cannot wait for this last minute. Oh, solid kick right there. Nice lead hook by Slice. Oh, that right hand is money, and he's able to get it home there. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Kimbo Slice gets caught. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Final seconds of the fight. So an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So of course it's gonna be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45.
declaring the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and s changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he